No, brother, brother, this is different. <laughs> now, Luke, you shouldn't be laughing, young man, because uh, <laughs> you shouldn't be laughing, Luke, because actually the same thing happened to me. <laughs> Alright you lot, welcome to this waffling special. Now we are in Amsterdam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <hey. laughs> <Teapot. laughs> no. Right, now listen to me. Basically, we are here for a very individual and unique experience. <laughs> <laughs> Something you can't do anywhere else. No. Um, so, before we get on with the show, we are just going to pop off to a coffee shop and get this party started. <laughs> okay, see you in a jiffy. <laughs> <laughs> All right now, guys, we have come back from the coffee shop. Um, and well, obviously, yeah, like now it's about- <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we didn't go to a coffee. No, no, we went to that place. It's called Pre de Campo. No, no, what was it? No, what was it? Pre de, pre de it's Pre de. <laughs> no, it's Pre de. No, it it's was dech. No, mate, no. <laughs> what are you doing? No, listen. Um, it was pre dammy pre dammy uh, pre dam pre <laughs> yeah so basically um no no come on now it was it was cool and then we've explored around amsterdam very momentarily but now we're back here and ready to present the show so um something that i did want to bring up <laughs> oh. <laughs> is you no, no no basically luke has been warning me ever since we like booked this trip about a reason to not go near L like the, the prostitutes? No, no. Oh. And I was disrespected because I, I mean, fair enough if you do that and that's your thing, but I personally would never <laughs> go with <laughs> You were literally talking about how they, what they're going to pay. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to want? Joe, so Joe seems to think that a prostitute will charge, are they even called prostitutes out here? Sex worker will charge uh, you depending on your looks. Mate, on to you. You said you would get a free... I would get it for free. <laughs> this is malarkey. Basically, <laughs> I was saying it, it, it's known that the, um, the the people that work in the red light dist red light di <laughs> red light district um, trying to um, obviously sex people. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whoa! No, go ahead. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so the sex workers, in my opinion. They will, if they fancy you a bit, are they charging you as someone that's not fit, mate, in their opinion? Well, yeah, but the way you got to look at it, right, is like... Is it if, a fixed rate or is it a variable I rate? I don't think it's a fixed rate. I think it's variable. I think if they think you're a buff ting, like Bundeslingers, <laughs> right, that's what I said, Bundeslingers, Bundeslingers. <laughs> if they like that, then they, what I reckon, you know, they're going to not charge you as much. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, Luke, you had a story. Sorry, dear. Go ahead. We interrupted. Sorry, dear. Did I? Yeah, you had a story about why we should not go to the red light district. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was being like, oh, what? They tell me they, they give you AIDS or, you know, you know something dodgy. Like, is that, <laughs> is, that, is that the reason? Why are you talking about getting AIDS? No, because it... Mate, because it, it, they might... You would think, right, this is no disrespect. I mean, no disrespect, right? But it's where... <laughs> Mate, I heard, yeah. <laughs> no, wait, listen, listen. You listen I heard to having sex with a prostitute in, in Amsterdam is <laughs> safe. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is safer than. <laughs> what did they. It was safer <laughs> than just meeting a regular in a club. No, but it is funny, isn't it? Like, people will sleep I'm with. just lying. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you lying? I'm not. Someone did tell me that. <laughs> Can you just tell your fucking story, please? It wasn't even a story as to why not to go to it. The, st the story was literally that someone we know went and slept with one. And was it good? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, so basically, this was. No, this. So this is the process. Right, because. <laughs> 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 what the fuck was that? <laughs> wee wee wee! <laughs> you can look back at this episode and be like, <laughs> maybe we'll scrap that one. <laughs> Honestly, you're gonna be like, look at these immature idiots laughing at fucking looking at a wall. What more could you want? 
You can tell the story then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you just tell the story? Just hurry already? the fuck up and tell. Oh, us. You want to know the processes? No, no, no. Oh yeah. So Luke, all day you've been telling us. Got to stay. No, I haven't. Pod. All you've told us is I know someone that went to the red light district. And <laughs> <laughs> so do we all, Luke. What? I don't. You've been before. I don't. I've been to the red light district. Well, go. Just walk through it. But it's pretty mad. Like you could be walking with like your partner, um, and the people in the window will still just be like, "Come in." What? They have no regard. Maybe they want both at the same time. Who knows? And how do you feel about that concept? Because, mate, it's fucking dodgy, right? <laughs> <laughs> mate, what concept? <laughs> the concept of a prostitute. No. Listen, See, so I think we have to call them sex workers now. Right. I'm so sorry. Wait. Well, we need to educate ourselves. And secondly, what I'm saying is... <laughs> what was I saying? What was I about to say? <laughs> no, 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 no. I was, did I start saying it? Because I knew it was good. What is it? What was it? We were talking about <laughs> <laughs> your. <laughs> Go ahead with your story. <laughs> what were we doing? Oh, this is the world's crappiest seven minutes of a podcast. No, sorry. Would be an half no, hour. we're gonna we're gonna put <laughs> we're gonna put it together. We're gonna put it in. Go on, ask me some questions. No, so you were talking about is, is it dodgy sex workers? But no, um, that, you literally just said that. Would you say? Oh, yeah, it's dodgy, right? <laughs> that when people go on stag do's to Amsterdam or wherever, like, the person to get... <laughs> <that's just laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, or wherever? There's just about to get married. <laughs> Cheats. <laughs> Cheats. <laughs> no. Cheats on their bride it, it, or husband-to-be. But then... <laughs> Yeah, but also, you have to think about it like this. I think it's, it's down to the movies, really. <laughs> For example, the movies would suggest... <laughs> what are you going on about regarding the movie? <laughs> Continue no. talking about the movie. <laughs> no. I'm going on with chocolate <laughs> down my mouth. <laughs> <Okay>. go. <coughs> In films, it is like the done thing. Yes. On, in films, that <laughs> the, 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 Come on, spit out the bride can't. or groom yeah. will go and uh, do stuff. <laughs> and would you sacti- say, you know anyone that's done that? <laughs> do you know anyone that's done that? <laughs> what? Do you know anyone that's done that, mate? Oh, no, not <laughs> No, I was just making the face. I of swear you do, mate. <laughs> no, I genuinely don't. Okay. I know of. I know of. No, I know. I know more of people who have. <laughs> Isn't it like someone else? Stop. <laughs> what? You, you know. You know what I mean, bro. No, listen. Let's get our shit together. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> so, guys. <laughs> Hey, you're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> am I actually? Am I actually? Should we stop? Should we stop? I'm taking a piss. No, we could. St- Why are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. What am I? Am I actually crying? <laughs> you got tears. Um. <laughs> Why, why, um, why do you think that you guys always put pi- pictures, <laughs> put, 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 put pictures up of Hasbulla and say it's me? Why do you do that? If the, all of these Waffling Mafia members have been seeing me on Instagram and in our last episode, it's funny. where you made me as Hasbulla, <laughs> why do you relate me to him? What is it about him that you I see in me? Like the height. And the, <laughs> the confidence within themselves. The confidence. <laughs> the what? Wait, he does just like, he has someone to be like cradling it, but just <laughs> trying to punch him in the head. Exactly. So I head them like, and shit. That's what you would do. No. If someone cradles you. <laughs> what, you think I like harm things that are trying to help me? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Maybe I push, push away what is really trying to be there for me. <laughs> and now I've let it all go. <laughs> you could be an actor, man. You reckon? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Should we do some acting? <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. No laughing contest. Where's your beer? Right. Ready? So, 
I'm gonna <laughs> so it's gonna be like this. <laughs> you know, I really love when guys are nice to girls and girls like guys. <laughs> but they don't. <laughs> but they don't. Why is he doing? <laughs> you shut up! I'm acting for you. I'm doing an acting performance, <laughs> and I'm gonna do like um. <sighs> <laughs> like, I I actually did a stand up comedy performance in my primary school. Um, Wait, as in you weren't joking when you did it? <laughs> <laughs> we as were, in like a career pursuit? Yeah, just like I, was, I was stood at the front of class. How, wait, how old? What year? Year four. For, no, no, it might be year five. But um, I was basically standing up and I told a story, um, and it was how like I uh, walked to the news agents and bumped into some pigeons. No, no, no! Legit, 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 and I and it actually had people laughing. Wait, <laughs> I thought you were gonna tell it. <laughs> tell us the story. <laughs> no, 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 no! no. So you told a story. Was it? Did about, you make it up? Was it your? Yeah, I, I was freestyling. So you know, you have like freestyle, freestyle and the best you could come up with. <laughs> when I walked to the shop and walked past some pigeons. No, no, shut your mat, right? <laughs> no, listen. It's basically I. Um, I did a stand-up comedy. Mate, <laughs> Wait, mate you, you, did, you did basically did the equivalent of show and tell. No, 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 no. Anyways, <laughs> what I'm saying is everyone's got a different talent. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> oh, yeah, have, have I actually just... Imba- do I no, you haven't. Have I coming across like a twat? You're coming across very funny. And cute. Cute? Nah, because you know, like when girls say that to guys, oh, you're so cute. It's me, just like, me, don't me, ever me, say me, that. No, why, why is it don't ever no, say that? No, it's more of just. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, for me, cute. Obviously, we get called cute all the time and stuff like that. But um, cute for me is more like like a cuddly little teddy bear. Yeah, but you you not, are not like a sex beast. No, but do no, but you you know, um, we as males. Almost, we, we feel like we should feel fierce. We should, we should be um, sort of v- rather aggressive. But what? In, in essence, what the cute remark is saying is that no, those m- m- toxic masculinity traits are not what powers you as an individual. It is your ability to express all and being cute is one of those alls. <laughs> Do you understand that. me right now? You could be, you could be a commentator. <laughs> Have either of you ever snapped your banjo? Oi, so basically, we- right, Malfoy fucking lobs in the group chat about this. He goes, boys, I fucking done it. <laughs> what the fuck? You're making me celebrate. And then basically, he snapped, <clears throat> no, no, trigger warning for a gruesome like- things, but he snapped the banjo area of his erectile function. <laughs> You know. It was more of a tear on second. It's sort of a half snap. With your 100% certified girlfriend, and Theo has actually announced this evening, off, you know, our little honeymoon away. It was not a deadline this day. Is, this is, the fir- <laughs> is that this is the first time that you sort of realised what it's like to be in a relationship. You were saying how, you know, I really am having fun. I want to share so many experiences with them. It's not like just, oh, you, you do only certain things with them. It's like, no, you want to share your life. Everything. And it was so invigorating and refreshing for you. Now, <clears throat> can I just firstly confirm, are you now official <laughs> in a relationship with this individual? Yes. You are? I am. And, and, and it, you know, just like, do, do you... You know what? What I wasn't. I don't I think anyone thought it was going to be happening as soon as it really. Well, did. you've so newsflash. It's an exclusive. Theo Baker has a <laughs> new girlfriend. Oh, can you fucking stop? Newsflash. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, POV American. Instant <laughs> regret. <laughs> That's horrible. So well, actually, I've got. Uh, I've got a quick. Finish. Hang on, hang on, no, brother, on brother, brother. Let me just do one thing. Yeah, brother. Yeah, a lot of people. Oh, me included. I'd be like, oh, I didn't. I wouldn't expect this to happen. But I feel like the ones you you know get on with the most with, and the ones you love the most, are the ones you don't expect to meet. So you should never go looking 
Love. No, but no, that's so classic. But we hear that. But Mate, it's true that if you, the more you look for it, the more you won't. Yes, get but it. no, but no, no, but, it'll it'll but it's not just like oh, doorstep. wait. Once you achieve the ultimate not giving a fuck factor, boom, you get a girlfriend. No, <laughs> it's basically you. Yeah, like obviously you don't go chasing for it, but then even if you're not chasing for it, it might still not not turn up. So yeah, so just wait a little bit longer. But what what like you've not f- expecting to have a girlfriend since the day you broke up before? So it's like. You would never expect it, but why did you connect on that day with that girl? Like, what was the difference? Because you, you get a lot of attention, my man. <laughs> oh, it's true. You do. Come on. It was just, uh, were you, really? Yeah. Okay. Always laughing. Just can talk about I'm <laughs> 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 crying. <laughs> No, it, it, it's, it? it's as well. Not only can you like have a laugh and whatnot, and like have great times, but you can also have those deep chats, so you can connect <laughs> on multiple levels. Are you I, actually welling up? <laughs> <laughs> not welling up. <laughs> no. Why the fuck would I well up? What from happiness? Yeah. I would never do that. Why? Well, you think it's weak to cry as a man? No, I cry all the time. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> what do you feel? No, like I haven't cried in ages. But I have a question. <laughs> you started welling up then, though. You did. You did. You did, bro. Up. No, you did. I was laughing. No, what the fuck? No, I'm not having that blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're tricking me because I know the no, most annoying thing about that is like you guys think I cried, but I know like I did. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, make such a big deal out of it? For you. <laughs> but I know within me, I didn't cry. <laughs> Oh, I love taking a piss out of myself. It's so Wait, funny. But do you now do you remember how you once thought like a relate or what a relationship should be? And now <laughs> do you feel like you have a new perspective? Like, like your whole life was a lie. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> <laughs> I would say this is probably the happiest I've been in about seven years. Good job, but <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I can't say that. Can I? No, 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 listen. Um, Leap the word. Ow! Fucking hell, man! Someone let loose this one. Wait, can I have? Has anyone watching right now? Ha, can you notice the difference in what Joe looks like? Because when I when I saw him in the airport, <laughs> he's got an instant. <laughs> you got what? A bone when now. I saw him in the airport. <clears throat> The first thing I noticed was how thin he is in the face. Like it progressed, and, and it really in, enhanced the look on the chin. Because I, I, the first thing I said to him, I said, "Where's your chin gone?" No, I've just you basically have lost a lot of weight. Yeah, but I've really fucking let myself go tonight. But chin is need... starting to come back. Well, now already. No, obviously not. It's not how it works. Shit. Sure. Now, but yeah, basically, it was actually quite refreshing to hear someone comment positively on my weight yeah. for a long time. It's I've been told I'm fat, Weller. Oh, you're just out of shape. Ugly well I said ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, yeah, I've been working hard. Um <laughs> Dude, you, do, 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 do. <laughs> Wait, swear, 20 minutes in we've discussed nothing. No, no, no. But I've been working hard in the gym. You know, just really put myself to work. And uh, yeah, it's just been good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you start going to the gym. <laughs> Cool, bro. <laughs> you are a wiki wanker. I have news. Two exclusives. Go on. <laughs> I. You know what's meant to You're about to get your knob out. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what am I saying again? Oh, yes. I will not be going to the gym for a while. Oh, wait, you're shaking. <laughs> Shaking, <laughs> shaking. <laughs> Cheeks are shaking. Wait, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Basically, oh, fuck off. Shit, sorry. I was in. Pa- I, I was in Paris. Oh no! First up. Oh no! <laughs> got my phone stolen. You got robbed again. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something about me? No, no, no that me, is actually they awful. They must look about. They must look at me and think, "Rich, let's, let's do him." No, you think? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <Was he? laughs> Easy talk. No, brother, brother, this is different. <laughs> now, Luke, you shouldn't be laughing, young man, because uh, <laughs> you shouldn't be laughing, Luke, because actually the same thing happened <laughs> to me. 
boy. Zia, I'm so sorry. We're getting fucking rinsed in the comments right now. And I understand. I understand. So it's payback for me rinsing you all day off camera. Yeah, facts. Right, um, go on. So, where was I saying? I don't know why I'm talking about my phone getting robbed. It was pickpocketed out of my pocket, so yeah, I didn't feel it go. <laughs> Happened to Luke, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you keep Luke. calling me a pussy. They took your watch right off your wrist and you were wearing it. Oh, was this? Who could get robbed the most? <laughs> not constant. Anyways, shut the fuck up, man. I finished <laughs> with that story. I bought a new phone, whatever. I then lost my bank card. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Pinned against the dumpster. <laughs> And then to top it off, before, but, again. oh, you know what? I give up. I quit. I quit. We got a wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, man. Sorry, no. I'm actually because these two no. fucking <laughs> idiots. No, you didn't have as much as us. No, of anything. No, nothing. Right, go on, go. Yeah, but um, oh yeah, I got a call before that just a few hours before <laughs> yes. before my phone got stolen. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna kill you. It's fucking dark. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, go, go. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, bro. Sorry. It's fucking hell. And uh, it was my doctor. <laughs> Got that cock infection. <laughs> oh, God. Right, come on. Go, 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 go. And you know that surgery I was getting next year? Sergio. Surgery I was getting next oh. year. <laughs> getting it in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to be in crutches. No, I'm not going to be able to walk. What, I'm going what, under the knife. What is this surgery? Never had surgery before. I'm really nervous. What's it for? No. Specifically? Uh, my hips. What Both? Hip like, what's happening? <laughs> Was it like too much dancing? <laughs> 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 no, they're shaving down one of the joints or something. <laughs> <laughs> Manscaping one of the joints. Oh, mate, that's actually savage, and I actually feel bad. Yeah, three months out again. No, you don't, you fucking <laughs> no. weapon. No, I'm coming across like a cock. Uh, yeah, you, you know what? They've, uh, they've, they all turned on me. They've turned on you right now. They're okay. going, they're going, oh, poor Theo. No, no, they are. It's because you two fucking idiots what? are there. <laughs> no, so yeah, go on, carry on. So you're getting something about your arse shaving down or something. No one said that. <laughs> yeah, your hips, your arse, isn't it? So you, is it oh. <laughs> you know the <laughs> Oh, grow up, will you? I've no. just told you that I'm getting... Sur- Did I act like this when you got your knee surgery? You didn't no. even care. You didn't even comment. <laughs> <laughs> you said nothing on the matter. <laughs> you don't really Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> I was there when you did your bloody knee, mate. Oh no, you said, oh, I didn't look at you. I was even that arse. I was like, you just fell over. <laughs> you just diving. Snap, crack, purple. It's pretty mad that happened to your knee. Why are we talking about your Great knee when concept. I'm the one getting surgery? Yeah, this yeah, so is- what is the surgery? So what is it as a result of? And for anyone watching that's in a similar sort of situation, um, see if you can relate to Theo right now. Go, Theo. I don't really know. They're, they're, they're telling me in a couple, they're telling me next week. But they are shaving, pretty sure they're shaving a joint and doing something to one of the bones. But then they were like, it might not work. I was like, okay. And what is, why, what have you been, what is it too much like shagging? (laughs) It's my groin injury from football. Oh, I thought it was your hips. Yeah, but basically I get the pain in the groin, which stems from the hips. So a lot of the times where you're in pain, it's not actually where you're in pain, it's the stomach. Oh God, that's, that's deep, man. In the space of (laughs) one week, listen to this. Okay. If you want to know how to have a bad week. No. (laughs) <laughs> in the space of one week I found out I was getting surgery in two weeks my phone got stolen my bank card went missing went to Disneyland on the wrong day Disneyland Disneyland on okay. the wrong day and something else but I can't oh, I snapped my banjo <laughs> shit <bro. laughs> the children in Africa are praying for you <laughs> <laughs> no no no, no, no. I, I do appreciate but like, look, you're fit, you're healthy, you got a lovely okay, well, girlfriend. I'm, I'm done with this no, come injuries on. talk. It's when very repetitive being there, done that. Yeah, okay, so let's move on to some we other just things. Talk about something. What do we have? Is he going to cry? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you okay, you okay. Do you, do you want us to take a break? <laughs> <laughs> the fucking most annoying thing no, wait, is what, when you do no, that. F- mate, what I'll tell you why. Because you, I was actually you, asking a no. caring message. <laughs> Mate, no. that's harsh if no. you're turning them around and making me laugh. You did inhale just tiggy tuggy again. You go, mate, are you okay? Do we need to stop the podcast? And I'm just there, <laughs> and I'm just there like, huh? I'm just ch- chilling. And then it just goes in the edit. What? And then was like, oh, so you're crying. <laughs> no, I wasn't. 
Actually, you know what? Right now, it feels like you two fucking idiots have turned on me. You're, what? T- you're too fucking. <laughs> You are. What? What? Oh, do you fucking w- first time you spoke. <laughs> Honestly, what have you said this podcast? You, you tried to tell a story and it was my mate got shagged in Red Light District. So the thousands. I was going to tell you the process. Go on then, buddy. Uh, oh. Who was it? So, uh, no, I can't say. Yeah, you can. We'll bleep it. No, no, I can't. Wait, just come on. Mate, get, we'll on. Get, get on with it. Just get on with it. I'm not going to say it, but... No, basically, the process is, is obviously they want to get you in and out as quick as possible because then it's like... More money. Yeah, yeah. So, like, they use this, like, lube on you that makes yeah. you, like... tingle cum. Yeah, so it makes you, like, come proper. And then apparently they put the, like, Johnny on you and then just do it. Like, you get one position and then you have to, like, finish. Oh, my God, so he, like... What was if you rolled the dice and get a really bad position? No, I th- you can choose it, I think. Wait, yeah, do, is it... Because, obviously, like... I personally have never have taken get... taken part in s- sex work. No, I know you said that a few times. No, 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 not that I hadn't done it. Part. No, 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 it's in, um, tra- bought, done it, done that you sort of business. You've never paid for sex. Yeah, I've never done that, right? Um, what is the process? If anyone is listening right now, if you're curious about this, or you've experienced it, or you do offer this service, like, Sebas, <laughs> what is uh, the process? Is it that you're trying to flirt with the man, connect with them on an emotional level, and then manipulate them from then. Oh wait, are you to talking paying about, oh. money for teasing other parts of you? Is it a bit? Ooh. It's the, like the oldest. It's the oldest trade in the game, like in, in the world. It's like sex work is like one of you know the first, first, caveman first. Times. Yeah, but way back in caveman times, you know. And what I'm saying here is. I don't know. Would you do it? Would you do it? Would you do it? anyone watching? What are, you, what are your thoughts on it? Like coming out to... So people would come out, come to Amsterdam and go to the red light district on, on a holiday of that. to Not you, though. To experience... I, 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 <coughs> no. What? What's funny? No, nothing. Would you? No, so the thing is, right, the real... Like, the, the biggest thing that always plays in my head is, like, imagine if the person that is doing this doesn't actually want to be doing it. Oof. You're not like... If someone is in that business because they have to put food on the table, like then, then it doesn't feel like morally right. But I think people have, um, you know, like women or men, have like obviously the right to do what they please. As in like if they want to, to sell. Wow. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, no, I, do, I totally feel you. But as in like I, would, I think I wouldn't be able to get a rod on. I... <laughs> I really almost need that that connection, connection where it's like, yeah, it is an intimate one where you can be vulnerable. Well, maybe you can no? pay double and get an intimate connection. Oh, no, I pay what? You can't pay for You can't the buy emotional connection, Theo. <laughs> you might actually randomly connect with someone. Maybe you fall in love with them. Maybe. I could see that happen. But maybe are they the emotions that they're actually trying to hit on, the loved ones, so, maybe you're faking so, that, so that you are uh, recurring customers? So ah. Like, Maybe oh, on a what? direct debit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what you mean. What, as in, like, do they do that? They like, try and connect on an emotional yeah. level, so then you're drawn back. Yeah, to Yeah, you feel like you're the only one. <laughs> I don't know. Um, now, obviously, other things that we've seen is the fact that we are about halfway through the podcast, <laughs> so it's time to go for another coffee break. We will be back very. <laughs> <laughs> we will be back. <laughs> <laughs> we will be back. Very shortly. Yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Now, guys. Hello. Quick interruption to this very wacky episode. But you may have seen that we have these on the table, which are, right, a bit of magicianery. So this is actual tap water, right, just in a bottle like you'd expect. Plain. However, the area above just here that the Air Up guys have invented make this normal tap water basically smell taste i don't know what it is but it makes you enjoy whatever flavor the pod is now mine's coffee what's yours i've got watermelon orange and vanilla okay and it's basically not putting any harsh chemicals disgusting rubbish in the water but just tricking your brain into somehow enjoy this delicious flavor like, whilst drinking your it's water quite literally plain water that tastes amazing it's this little boy on the top that gives you the the flavor essentially yeah so it is bizarre. Oh, banging, right? And it just, it's so game-changing. I can't believe it hasn't been done before. But basically, these guys 
Um, they're from Munich, Germany. Oh. Hello? Okay, yeah. Near us now. Literally, like, so we're in Amsterdam right now. They're uh, over the pond. And they were like, we want to sponsor this episode. So there you go. Great invention. If you want to check them out, the link is in the description or on screen right now. But for me, game changing. Andrews. Staying hydrated is so good. Like so mentally, is actually just like it is very very. Water good. is the best drink. So, um, anyways, back on with the show. All right, you lot. So <laughs> it is now the next day, right? We went for a coffee break. It all got a little bit too out of hand, and we had to just go to bed. Um, but look, we have to continue this podcast because now we have some serious things that we can actually get into words. Okay, because last night it got a little bit too out of hand. Just like laughed. Yeah, we were just really? laughing. It turned a little bit annoying, if I'm honest. I, I, it's quite funny. <laughs> Look, everyone's going to be like, the first half of this podcast was very annoying. Now yeah, these guys can have fun now. It was a mess because I swear we started talking about, uh, I had that uh, story of someone that we know is sleeping with a sex worker yeah. here. And then we ended with me mm-hmm. like telling that story and then we yeah. wrapped it. So it was literally jumbled. The no, whole I started my story off. When I was meant to tell you how I snapped my banjo and I went into my phone getting stolen. Yeah, exactly. It was all over the place. And and I think what is very interesting about the coffee over here is like obviously you don't have it with tobacco. Yeah. Like <laughs> we, we can say that, can't yeah, we? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like we don't you know what I mean? And it, it's fuck me, it's quality. <laughs> Mate, how is the coffee here legal, right? But this is where I, I think the world's fucked and it is really all about money, right? Alcohol fucks you way more than that coffee more ever, ever has. There's Everyone here, deaths. right, is in Amsterdam, welcoming, kind, lovely, in a good spirit, man. Just really on the wave, bro. <laughs> you <laughs> like, know what, it's true, then. <laughs> yeah, no, it is When you went true. into that coffee shop, yeah. they were so accommodating, and they, they, they even gave him a free lighter. Yeah, said, not, uh, free coffee to spoon. To warm up his coffee. Oh, he said, he said, this one's on the house, buddy. Yeah, he gave me a free one because he cl- clearly saw that we were noobs. But it's very easy. I think it's very easy. It was vice versa. Like, the English would be, like, very dismissive very quickly. They'd be like, oh, we deal yeah. with this every day. Be, it could be very easy. Even to us, it would be very easy for them to be like, oh, fuck I literally off. said here, boys, when we got here, I was like, this place feels so welcoming. Yeah, you're the, that's the first time I've ever heard you say that as well. Yeah. yeah. And I'd, I'd like to actually ask some of the viewers... Right. If any of you that work in, you know, places where you need to basically say the same thing or, te- or or deal with the same sort of scenario over and over and over again, how do you manage to present enthusiasm and like it's the first time you've ever done it every time? Mm. Because it's so easy to, to almost come across bored, frustrated and fed up with that. And in fact, you know, these people manage to absolutely ace it. Mate, you do it all the time in McDonald's. Oh yeah, because you worked in McDonald's, like, Malfoy. You your order here, so you have to make little oh, games. Yeah. You have to make little games within the day. It's funny though, right. but I think, I think it also equates to like how y- you approach life. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's very deep, man. No, no, because <laughs> think about it, right? If you approach every day as like, oh, you know, if I am working this like mundane job, I want to make everyone's experience as good as possible. Yeah. You know, like my opportunity to have a good day is engaging with these people yeah. and have like a laugh with them in the like 30 seconds that I meet them. Mm. Mate, it's so true. like it is about your approach to life rather mm. than like like being like oh fuck's sake I work, I work in like a this boring job I do the same shit every day. It's like well you can make it what it is. Yeah. It's it's, it's like the thing of, you know, the situation isn't what dictates your experience. It's you and your perception of that situation <laughs> that ter- that that actually decides how you experience it and what you get out of it. I mean, on window right? on window one, we just play games of you, you have to do it in a funny accent. How well, long you, can you? How can? How long can you go without laughing? And what accent just, would you do? Like, just like do, a, do an example now. G'day, mate. Welcome to McDonald's. I do Australian, and then some other silly, goofy ones as well. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> the the happier you are in window one, the better experience you're going to give to a customer. Then by the time they come round to pay, they'll mm. be in a happy mood. Mate, it'd it be so true. easy to ruin someone's day. Mate, factual information. That's like, like obviously McDonald's sell Buxton Water, right? <laughs> right. That's what they sell. So when I come up to window one, I say, "Can I have a Buxton Water?" <laughs> <laughs> and, and I do, and I and I pray and hope that they re- realize it's me because really, some- <laughs> no, really they're like, "This is fucking weird." Because <laughs> <laughs> no, these are, a lot of them are youngsters, right? That may or may not have grown up watching Weller videos, okay? And if you go, "Oh, Buxton Water," right? Do that. <laughs> uh, they 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 are like, ha, it's Weller. And I'm like, yes it is. <laughs> can, can I have it for free? 
Well, don't ask for it for free. Please recognise me. <laughs> <laughs> Please still say I have anyone. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, I, I do totally get you on that, my bro. And um, yeah, I just think that about Amsterdam and about, let me ask you this, your lives in lockdown. Because everyone's life in fucking lockdown was mental. And obviously coming over here tonight, as we are in Amsterdam, they are about to go into a semi-lockdown. Mate, you've got to hand it to Boris. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just, put a, just yeah. finish this point? Um, <laughs> just, you know, um, now, go it, obviously everyone here is about to have to face what we have faced for so long. And we were all in that same situation. But some people decided to go, right, I'm going to make make the take this time to utilise it, i.e. learn to DJ. Have parties. <laughs> no. <laughs> or some would, and I did this as well, just bum around being like, I hate life. But everyone was in the same situation. It is literally how do you utilise that to your benefit and to make you most happy? That's so true. Yeah. Isn't Mate. it quite strange that like the UK is like clubbing, like full on clubbing mm. and COVID doesn't really exist anymore. Well, it does, but like, you know what I'm saying? Masks don't exist anymore, really. And we're out clubbing. And then... Amsterdam are going into a full-on lockdown. Yeah, it's nuts. But this is the thing: like, the people are double jabbed and still getting the virus at home. Um, like, what? yeah, the go- what? You, <laughs> what? No, I haven't. You have? No, I haven't, mate. Someone that I know. I, was, some pe- I know people that have. Though. Yeah, the girl. Like, right, so basically, I was in the studio. Like, <laughs> as a big time DJ right now, <laughs> I am. Um, I was in the studio with a singer from Ireland. She's from Belfast. What's her name? Isn't that Northern Ireland? Yeah, Northern Ireland. You can't say her name, is she on the track? No, no, no. I say it's Neve. Anyways, basically, she's double vaxxed. Got the virus a week ago. What I believe is the virus. And I'm just like, and it proper affected her, like tongue. Taste. And taste, yeah. Yeah, you know, oh, like the, you know, the smell yeah, and they are, all that. They are saying and I'm just like, a... well, we're meant to be vaxxed for, for that to stop. But, but, but the anyways. idea of the jab is to reduce Your the... Chance. No, I, or is it not to reduce also, <laughs> like, if you do get it, it's Symptoms. much more mild. But oh. that's why they're saying you should go and get a... A lot of people now are getting like a, a booster jab. Oh. I know somebody who's got a booster jab. It'll, I reckon it'll turn into a... Um, you know, every year you're meant to get the flu jab. Yeah. It'll just be that. What old people do, don't, isn't that what, how it works? Or do you get it? Huh? Have you got a weak immune system? Yeah, he, get, he gets oh, it. Oh, because is that how it goes? I've got asthma. Actually. That's why I get priority access to the oh, vaccine. Yeah. Speaking of uh, weak immune systems, you got a bit upset with us last night because we... Let, let me just quickly set that story. Okay, right, yeah, so yeah. basically... We have this heap of coffee, right? Two cups full, right? And me and Luke fucking just in hysterics. Obviously, you saw the first half of the Everything episode. Everything was funny, like, even if it like, wasn't funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was great. It was great because my experience with coffee before <laughs> is, uh, is, you know, obviously you have it with other herbs in the device. Herbs. And and it, and it's it, it can send you a bit weird or make you a bit, I don't know, like not, not it's harsh on the throat. But this last night, doing the pure, <laughs> no, 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 no. Pure it was just, haze. it was just, it was just phenomenal. And obviously, me and Luke were very, very laughy. But you just not even decided. You went rather anxious, very and we, anxious. we were like, and even just us looking at you, right? Huh? You that was really pranging you out. And I want to ask you viewers at home or listening right now, have you ever? I mean. You can get what I'm saying, don't you? Like, <laughs> I think they get it. Have you ever had a cup of coffee <laughs> and um, just fuck me? Just gone well, like anxious and prangy. And what do you reckon that's to do with? Is it that there is a deeper underlying issue that is in your brain that is actually coming to fruition there <laughs> and, and actually flooding your brain with the chemicals to enhance the worry? Or what? Or, or is if, it just you know, you know? Or is it just random? Surely random. it's not just random. Because I, I would literally be like, "Oh, Theo, can you pass me that?" He'd be like, "Why? Why? Why, no, guys? Why you? Why, don't look at me. Don't." <laughs> and it was, was everything very, was just why? Why? I was, I was very paranoid, wasn't why I? Why do you think that was Cheesehead? <laughs> I didn't mean that. Cheesehead. Why cheesehead. No, because I felt like I was attacking you last night. But well, I wasn't. I wasn't attacking you. No, during the podcast, like you said about your surgery. And we were all laughing. <laughs> no, but we were laughing at everything. So yeah, you, I know. That's you could have said no, anything. I know, no, but I know. then you welled up downstairs. Yeah. Oh, man, no. that's, that really pissed me off when you said that. Yeah, because that's what we're saying. You you brought up that it was because of your the surgery comment that you made in the podcast. And we started laughing at you. And then you started, like, welling up. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you? No, no the, the thing that pisses me off the most is that when someone says, like, stop welling up, it's like, mate, I'm not. 
But then if you if you say if you <laughs> no, this is my point. If you go if you try and defend yourself and say I'm not crying, everyone, everyone goes, oh, okay, mate, I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. <laughs> this is impossible. So you just have to take it. Be like, okay. Whatever you want, but then it looks like I'm triggered, and I'm not triggered. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> no, but there was one point when you were. No, but the thing is, talking was... about your girlfriend. Do you remember that you were talking about <laughs> your girlfriend, yeah, and yeah, you yeah. started welling up? Your you eyes did. did get puffy no, and red. You were, no, but no, it was really good, guys. Listen up. No. This was really endearing. He was literally talking about her and what he loves about her. And there was a moment where you paused from talking, <laughs> and your eyes just started welling up. And, this... and we were like, "Mate, you're welling up. Not even no, not even taking no. a picture. You do." It and it was like, mate, no, but why I is this toxic masculinity? No, it's, you can cry. <laughs> toxic masculinity. Yeah. No, no, but that's the thing that I wasn't welling up. I must have just been deep within thought. I, uh, mate, I wasn't welling up. Okay. I was just. I mean, we moment. could get a replay. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get a VAR check no, on we, that one. We don't, it was downstairs, wasn't it? No, no, but no, no. When you were talking about the girlfriend, it was up here. It was, was when it? we were. It was when we we'll were, get a VAR check on it. And if I look back and be like, oh shit, then I'll believe you. But if I look back and be like, nah, that's bollocks. It's all in your head. Not only can you like have a laugh and whatnot and like have great times, but you can also have those deep jets, so you can connect <laughs> on multiple levels. Are you, are you actually <laughs> welling up? <laughs> Not welling up. <laughs> no. Why the fuck would I well up? What from happiness? But I got very paranoid last night. Yeah. I didn't like it at all. It's funny because I I obviously put on my Instagram saying like, oh, if you've got any questions for a damn or topics that you want us to talk about, send them yeah. in. And a lot of them were like, oh, the positive effects of um these sort of drugs on mental health. Not all of them are positive effects, but necessarily the effects, I guess. And I feel like, because there are a lot of advocates for like, uh, having coffee, and it's positive effect that it can have yeah. on one's mental health. But I feel like it really can swing one way or the, or the other. And I think that was demonstrated last night. Yeah, everyone's different, I think, with it. Look, medicinal marijuana, right? That treats insomnia. Yeah, it does. And, and you know, for people's anxiety, depression, things like that, it can be really useful. For other people, it can literally do the absolute opposite, make you go nuts. So, I think yeah. definitely today we'll be, I'll be eating some brownies today. I'm quite hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we could give that, that sort of stuff a go. That, that just normally knocks me out. But anyways, right, that's enough of the coffee talk. We uh, all understand that. Hello everyone, it's me, Theo, bringing you another ad read, and this time it is from our great friends over at Manscaped. Now, Manscaped have just released the performance package 4.0. Look, we've all been there. We've all we've all cut our balls. Let's face it. it, it you don't like to talk about it. We've all done it. However, if you get yourself the performance package 4.0, it includes the lawnmower 4.0, and my word, does it reduce your chances of cutting your balls. And what do you get within your performance package 4.0? I've already mentioned the lawnmower 4.0, which is waterproof. It has a light on it for when you're going in those dark crevices. And most importantly, it has that skin safe technology to help reduce the chances of getting those nicks on your balls. The performance package 4.0, also includes the crop preserver and the crop reviver. Very, very handy. It's basically ball deodorant. You've got one you can rub on, one for a quick spray. Very useful in loads of situations. We all know what we're talking about. Also, you get a pair of anti-chafing boxes. Very, very handy. And my word, don't get me started on the weed whacker that comes with it. It's an ear and nose hair trimmer. Unbelievable, Jeff. So what is our offer to you? Well, to get yourself 20% off and free shipping, all you need to do is go to manscaped.com slash waffling. That is manscaped.com slash waffling to get yourself 20% off plus free shipping. Back on with the show. Actually, right, so this is something that a lot of males experience. So if you're listening right now, Ooh. really pay attention. And we are going to say trigger warning. Trigger warning right fucking now. A lot of you little skunks. All right, <laughs> listen. So obviously Theo has had something that happens to a lot of us. It's never happened to me. Has it happened to you, Luke? Yeah, I said my story on I know, here. I know, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then now it's happened to Theo. So two in three men, it happens to. <laughs> that's not uh, after you know looking what? at I our study. Probably, yeah, probably, 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 probably up there. But obviously, Theo, whilst having vigorous, angry no. sex. <laughs> what? No. It was actually just as it went in. Just as it went in? I think it must have been like, it must have been ready to prank. It must have been quite oh, like it was tightened. So as soon as it got a bit of tension against it, it just went. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah okay, so basically, um, Theo Baker has had the ultimate male injury in um, snapping that area of the penile. So originally, function. I thought it was a full snap. Yeah, a full. T but I think it's only like a half snap. So the, right, without going to too much graphic, the top fully came off. 
Oh, and God. then like the bottom's like hanging on for dear life. No. And I'm hoping that like heals up. Okay. Because uh, I called one one. Obviously, when it happened, I was like, "Fucking hell, that you was." You called a the sp- ambulance. The no, no, no. What <laughs> cock is cut? No, 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 wait, wait. I'm not working. <laughs> no. So I felt it. And I was like, "Oh fuck! What the fuck was that?" Luckily, I'd f- I'd had a few drinks, so like the pain wasn't that bad. And I looked down, and there was nothing there. And then next thing you know, psh, 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 spunking. So much blood. Like so much oh, blood. blood comes and out I'm, with every like oh, heartbeat. Mate, Mate, it was. I'm trying. No, I'm holding the blood. I was like, "Get tissue, tissue!" Just like whack it up. Did I'm you like, panic. Oh, mate, it was the. W- if you look down at your cock and it's fucking spunking blood, I'm like, "Oh my god, it's not. It's ideal. happened. It's happened. It's finally happened. I'm one of those guys." And can I ask you something, right? So a lot of males may feel embarrassed by their partner seeing this, witnessing this, being part of the experience. Oh, you know what's now? Funny. Now, can I quickly ask? Did you get the vibe that this put your girlfriend off? No. Or that she was like, this is fucking disgusting. You're gross. No, was or was great. it more, it connected you and it was actually quite a bonding exercise. <laughs> it was a bonding exercise. <laughs> was it? Well, she was fantastic. It was very funny as she well. She was fantastic. Yeah, she was laughing at me. In fact. She's, she was like, ha, ha, ha. I feel like... No, I was laughing because it was so... Because I, th- I think we were all in shock that like the... Be- one of the... You either go you one or two ways in shock. shock. How many were there? No, there was only two of us. Okay. You either go like, oh, I'm going to cry and be all pussy or you can just laugh about it. I think that really helped me through it. But I, did, I did, I text Reeve and you guys. Of course you did. <laughs> send him a picture. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I didn't send him a picture. He was like, mate, this happened to my brother. And then you said it happened to you. And I was like, oh, it happens to quite a lot of people. Yeah. I was like, uh, he was like, mate, you need to call 111. Because my brother got stitches. And I was oh like. Oh my God. And that I was would like, be awful. And mate, have to when he, like, mate, when he said that, first. when he said that, I was like. Well, sti- I called one on one. Boys, I mean, I had stitches when I, because obviously I've been circumcised. Yeah, you, but you were young. Yeah, but what? Well, you still got feelings. Still <laughs> <have> feelings. <laughs> you were young. And they dissolve out. Yeah, the I know they're dissolvable. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mate, I got a missed call from the doctor. They were like, "We'll call you back in half an hour." I was like, "I'm gonna go to sleep." They called me back at seven a.m. I had a, so I had a voicemail. And it was like, "Blah blah 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 blah." Yes, I advise you, Theodore, to go to A and E straight away. And I was like, "Yeah." And you still haven't? No. Because you're scared. Uh, I'm sort of hoping it just heals up. Because everywhere I've Googled says it heals up. Then Luke, you said you fully snapped it and you don't have a banjo anymore. Yeah, but I, 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 I'm up. also at the same time a bit confused what you mean by the top and bottom. Because basically... I can show you if you want. Nah, don't worry. You haven't cleaned it for like a week, so I don't want to see under there. I but to you haven't cleaned it. You can't pull it back, mate. Is it, you it's pull I don't know. I'll pull it back. I've never had to pull it back. I don't have one. A cock. I have a cock. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, like, obviously, like, the process is, is it's like... You, c- you can't pull your foreskin back. Oh, I can gosh. Put it back a little, I've cleaned it a little bit. It's just I don't want to go too far because that's when it's like... Oh, yeah, you'll split it back open. Yeah. You do... You have to leave it, let it heal. But, like, mine was just... It was still just, like, one cut, so to speak. Yeah, but it's I, just, I like, now it now it just doesn't exist. Yeah, I I, mean, I, I think when it heals up, I want to see what... what working with here because i can't really see what we're working with i'm too scared to pull it fully back okay so this obviously with footballers right you have a serious injury like i've done my acl right professional footballer done my acl <laughs> and now going into challenges even full sprinting full speed shit. i i have that in the back of my mind because oh, i know shit. that's weaker now my question to you boys that both have this oh, no. dangerous injury when you want to be aggressive and you know really go for it <laughs> In sex, are you now going to second guess yourself? Think, oh, I should pull out of that tackle, right? <laughs> or, or you know, I shouldn't fully commit. Surely, I don't know how complete you are. opposite to that. Oh, well, so now oh, you're a dog. You so fucking go for yeah, it. But yours so, but doesn't exist anymore, so you can't do it. Do what? You can't resnap it. No, exactly. And that was my point. So I used to have this issue where, like, it would get like, uh, and I'm, I'm going like before it actually like went. Ping. Like sometimes it would like I'd get a little cut in it, like from where maybe it was like. And and then I'd be like, oh fuck, like that fucking hurts, and now I can't do anything for. And then like that would reoccur, and then one time, obviously, it just went. But now it has actually just gone, like it doesn't exist. Uh, okay, so, so you now that now there's because it's just not. That's there. what I'm hoping. Yeah, now okay, there's so zero you stress. who hasn't gone to A and E. I don't think you did either. But you no. you haven't gone to A and E. You've got it's remnant. I, I just I'm just wondering whether you're going to be able to feel the same again. I think it could be a bit of a, a bit of a mind fuck. You know, I think maybe once we get over the first hurdle, the first you know first challenge, we yeah. might have to go back in. But I think at first it may be a bit nerve wracking. Hundred percent. Because 100%. also it it is still there, still there, clinging on for yeah. dear life. No, wait until it's fully in, healed. until it's healed. Because 
Oh, to God, I don't really want to explain it. You but don't. You don't want to go in early. But you don't like, come back from an injury early. No, no, no. And a hundred percent, you want to let that thing heal. But like, if in theory, if it has like properly split. Obviously, think of anything like the way the body heals itself is if you are not getting that stitch back together, that piece is just going to like repair itself. But it's not going to repair itself together. It's just going to heal. So now all of a sudden it's just not there anymore. It, it doesn't exist. Do you know what I mean? So then it I'm can't terrified. go again. God, how long do you, how long do you, how long do you know it's ready? Fuck. Yeah. Give it a couple of weeks until you touch that. Cause yeah, bro, it's fucking hard though. Keep it as, as clean but as you can't you can. do anything. Can't masturbate. You can't do anything. Well, yeah. w- actually, one of the boys, um, won't say his name, did it from wanking. What? Yeah, it must have been really aggressive. <laughs> really aggressive wanking. <laughs> the other option, of course, is to just get it fully removed. But I don't get think that's you Wait, would you get circumcised and join the, the bright side over here? I don't know, man. I feel like... Cleaner, sexier. But does it... But you look fitter, you're but peng. You, but you're, but you're in a lucky scenario that you got it young, when you were young, so your cock is now used to it. Like, when you have been f- used to it. As in, like, if I, got it, if I got it now, like, wouldn't it be, like, really sensitive? Uh, and yeah. Then, like, yeah. It would be, wouldn't uh, it? It's just constantly exposed. Yeah. And, then, and then... I'll get it out. Also, <laughs> also, I heard, like, when you're having sex... It's like less sensitive because you're now used to it. Constantly. I wouldn't know. See, I wouldn't. That's what I'm saying. It's like if you get it done as a kid, you're used to it. Well, I still spunk in five seconds sometimes. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no one said that, mate. <laughs> anyway. no, what I'm saying is you, because you're so used to it now, but if you get it done as an adult, surely it's going to be like a bit raw. Maybe, but look, that is what it is, Theo. If it re-injures... It's just another life challenge. If it, get re- if it, if it re-injures itself, we'll just get it chopped off. Exactly. And, you know... Just foreskin. I because so I go, I go through waves right where so I've been working quite a lot in the studio um obviously <laughs> si- <laughs> sign this record deal and now we're, it's game on like we're writing tracks we've actually finished one can, today can I, just, I played it to the boys bang up I'm bang. not joking when I say this it is actually a proper toe tapper <laughs> like if it's not banging on TikTok with 500 mil streams I'll be angry it's got a top 10 vibe about like it. I am gonna create a dance to it yeah it's gonna go viral but and we've been honest about other tunes where we said yeah. they're probably not gonna make it like mm. commercially this is one of them ones where like um, it will be in the in the pools in the pool clubs in the pool, pool parties or Logan and Jake no, the pool, the swimming pool. Oh, 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 okay. They're not living rent free in your head, are they? Oh, when you talk about the pools, I'm like, they will be with the pools. I'm the like, swimming pools. Okay. Like, it's going to be everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've I don't want to guess so. it up too much. No, no, the thing is, is like, what I wanted to go with it, and let me know your thoughts on this, listeners and viewers. I like the idea of fusing genres, right? So rather than, like, it's predictable to put get a house type beat and put house vocals over it. Imagine taking the house type beat and putting a completely different genre or ev- even different country style what of singing. What kind of country? What's, what, what's, what are we talking? I'd say it's a bit... That, that is like a vocal. I guess... Well... Um, actually oh, bleep that, Tom, because I don't want to give it away, give anyone else any ideas. But basically, it's a, it's a unique thing. It's, I don't think there's been a top 10 track or even a chart track that's fused those two genres in that way I keep quite, getting, quite I keep like getting this. the urge to like... To, to sing it, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, it's like we're. Lo- I'm fucking loving it. But what I'm, what I was actually relating this to is, I while I've been in full work mode, I haven't had any like sexual desire at all. Like I've literally, I said to you boys, I was like, look, I, I'm not getting the urge to want to go out, meet anyone, or you know, just have any flings. I literally could not care less. Mate, and I wonder if that's if there's something that's relating back to caveman times, <laughs> right? No, because it might be that when you're hyper focused on something really important to you. Other senses just get turned off. I, I, mean, I fully agree with you. I've been there. Really? Like Where? When, you, when you're so just engrossed in like working and you've got one drive of yeah. this is all you do. And then when you come home at the end of the day or you finish work at the end of the day, you're just like, I want to sleep. And it's just yeah. work, eat, sleep, rinse, repeat. Yeah, yeah. Because what yeah. My, my thing has been, it's been diet, gym, work, like going to the studio and making the tunes. And yeah, it's like I feel like a bit of a, like a virgin again. That's good. Like I, I yeah, I just really Maybe and not- normally what would happen is there would be this great build up of oh my god, I need to fucking do this. But when you're when you're walking <laughs> but, through a certain street later today, we'll see you all those urges. They're gonna take me to the red light district, which I've never been to. But you're actually gonna be like And they think that I'm gonna not be able to control myself. Well, be a kid in a candy shop. Yeah, no, you are. In, no, that's a quite a, a goose. No, I think I think it might even hit me one or two ways. I think I might feel. This is so sad. Like sad. 
there might be a sadness, that, but then I don't know why, but maybe it's, I feel, you know, it's that thing that you said where they're, are they doing this? They don't really want to be there, but this is their only way to make good money. Or, you know, um, I, I, I'm a strong believer in the emotional connection when it comes to sex. It's been interesting. So I'm, I'm excited to see how it affects my brain. And obviously you're going to hear all the results. I mean, what it might turn into, we don't know yet. I, I was gonna, but we're going to hear it all in our Christmas special, yes. which comes out on Christmas Day, by the way. So, um, yeah, anything that happens today or tomorrow, Actually, stay tuned for that. do want to say, though, could you imagine yourself doing it if it felt right? So, like, you're walking through the red light district... And you're like, you look at this woman in the eyes and she's like, and you're like, Man, no, no, <laughs> no, because in his head, he's like, boy, she fucking wants, she fancies me. Oh yeah, she's yeah. She's like, she wouldn't, she would only do this to me, no one else. Right. Like, she, really, she hasn't doing, called anyone really else. She's over. done it to every single person that's walked past her. Look, and boys. she knows as well, the key is to look him in the eyes. And that's They're how, looking that's for how you suckers, suckers like you. Suckers, suckers like you. Suckers like me. Then you will get like sucked, you will get sucked in right. and then get sucked off. Okay, so so basically, look, they're only human, <laughs> right? They're only human. Yes, they do this for a job. Yes, they know how to coerce people uh, into getting what they want. But look, well, I it's a stud like me walking down the road. <laughs> a connection is a connection, and it just goes how it goes. So look, you could see yourself. Is no, that no, what you're no, saying? no. What I'm saying, look. I'm not dismissing. What I'm not going into life doing is dismissing that any sort of individual. <laughs> female individual um, is automatically off limits because of their job. Someone could be a banker. I'm not saying because they're a banker, I can't have an emotional connection with them just because just like a worker in the red light district, I may find the love of my life today. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but I'm not writing anyone off. Do you reckon you'd be the best they ever had? No. <laughs> yeah, the, he does. The eyebrow just twitched when he said that. No. <laughs> no, look, what, do you know what it is, right? And this is where I don't think I'd be able to do it. I fuck it, nah. Because, like, I, you, you, yeah, like, I, I, I'm quality when I connect with someone. But I've had it where I literally feel crap at sex, but really I'm just not connected to the individual. And I think that that is actually such a big thing. So that that's all I'm going to leave like that point I said, on. I don't think this, they're, they're, I'm not even sure if there is a chance of connection because... I don't think you're allowed to kiss. Well, they might not be emotionally available. And they, like Malfoy sometimes. Oi, but here is here is the thing. <laughs> That's also, true. Remember that some of these uh, women may actually have partners at home because this is just Shit. a Mental, job. Isn't it? it is just a job. How would you feel if your wife was uh, a sex worker? It's like the ultimate in, in, in insecurity sort of thing. Well, I, let me just, before answering that question, say that my friend went to a sex party um, recently where, you know, the fruitier you dress up, the better. Like, literally, basically, the more camp you look, the more confident you look. Um, and, you know, ended up getting with someone that works in a sex shop and has a boyfriend in America, but is polyamorous. Oh. So she is open to just that polyamory where she has multiple, multiple, multiple boyfriends and or girlfriends, right? She's only got one at the moment, but she wants my friend to be her English one. Now, do you want to know something that she was into? Go on. Blood play. Sorry, what? He's got fucking diabetes, right? <laughs> so he has, to, he has to prick himself. He has a needle. Where he pr He's pricking her with a fucking insulin needle, making her bleed and sucking it up. He like was, a fucking vampire shit. He was sucking it. What? Yeah, yeah little blood. So it turns out he's into it now as well. Right, he's a freaky little sod, so he'll do anything. But she was really into that, and she wanted, you know, yeah, she fucking loved it, and, and loved Vamp eating sp spunk. But, like, yeah, it was, it was very interesting. That's and filthy. And, and it, basically, it seems like the same emotional detachment that you'd need if your partner was a sex worker... Is that the same that you'd need for polyamory to know that they are getting with other people? I think you have to have and a lot there's potential to that be an emotional to connection. be in a polyamorous relationship. Yeah. I think you have to have a lot of self confidence. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be very easy to get jealous. Can it help your self confidence? That's the question. Because say, so, what? Because could it be that say if you're not very self confident, but you build a relationship with someone that's so strong that you literally don't get possessive in the manner that can be toxic. And in fact, you allow them to be an individual that lives their life and you live your life because you're so comfortable in who you are and you they are in, their, 
in who themselves are. So you don't have the codependence of where I need you to just be for me because I, I'm my confidence in myself is validated via you committing yourself to me. Hello everyone, it's Theo. Let me ask you this question. What is better than eight free beers? Well, I can tell you, and that is 10. Beer 52 are offering listeners of Waffling 10 free beers. And all you have to do is go to www beer52.com slash waffling to get your 10 free beers all you got to do is pay the 5.95 postage and if you do it before the 17th of december normally you'd get eight but with us with the code waffling you will get 10 if you order before the 17th of december now what is so special about beer 52 well i can tell you from personal experience they are unbelievable every single month they send experts around the world to find different obscure beers for example a couple months ago i had beers from chicago all around illinois they're absolutely unbelievable so far members have received beers from over 40 countries within five continents and i know some of you out there you're a bit fussy with your beers but don't worry beer 52 have you covered they've got all kinds of beers they got light beers they got dark beers they got ipas they got everything to suit anyone and what's more you're not just receiving 10 free beers. You're getting yourself a magazine. You're getting yourself some snacks to go along with it. It's unbelievable. Beer52.com slash waffling to get yourself 10 free beers if you order before the 17th of December. All you got to do is pay the 5 95 postage. As a disclaimer, I will quickly add, after redeeming your first case, you'll join the monthly beer club, which is £24 a month. No minimum commitment. You can cancel any time or pause it. I think also, bear in mind, at the same time, some mm. people get off on the idea of, their other half cuckold cuckold yeah is that it where like <laughs> you, where watch, they, you watch your missus get done by someone else and then you, but you watch them getting done yeah. but they stare at you in the eyes and you sit in the corner wanking never done Have that <laughs> <laughs> sit on a film <laughs> yeah i mean maybe but it's a very interesting thing a very very crazy i think one. also it's not necessarily just down to like oh you have to be self-confident like at, at the very same time like i'm like i fully back myself but it's more the idea of just someone, someone else, someone else yeah, like having a go. Yeah. That like that, it just doesn't sit well with me. Mm. Well, and I feel like a lot of people, that would be the reason. It's yeah. not like, a, well, well, it's not that I'm not confident in our relationship or whatever or in myself. It's just that. I'm Stop <laughs> fucking my message. Yeah, because <laughs> 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 yeah, there's the agile thing of like realistically, those people are just pretending that they're all right with it, but really they're not. Yeah, that is a weird just one. Like, like, oh, yeah, I'm, okay I'm totally with fine with it. Whatever she wants. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's an, it's an interesting con a conception, and I do love love you guys. Do you reckon, what? Yeah. Do you reckon you could be in a polyamorous relationship? No, I don't think. Could I you be in any relationship? No, because while I'm hyper focused like this, because it takes me back to when I first started YouTube, mate. Right, I didn't want to go on nights out. I, I didn't want to drink alcohol, and and I didn't I didn't really start like getting with any girls for a good little while into my adolescent teenage sort of approaching 20, 20 years old. Not yeah, really I didn't really, cause I was so yeah. just videos and passion about my work. And that's sort of like where I'm at with this. So I'm like, I don't think I'm actually gonna want a, a relationship for a fucking, fucking long time. That's absolutely fine. But, but adding to what you said earlier in the podcast yesterday, <laughs> yeah, so earlier <laughs> on, um, you said that it's when, you, when you're not looking for it, when you actively don't want it, that, when it, it comes to you, like, well, that's what happened to you. You never Sorry. know, mate. Like, that's the thing, though. Like, you could go to the studio and someone could walk in and you'd be like, oh, my God. Yeah. Or, or and you just start talking. You're like, oh, uh, these are feelings I've not felt before. Yeah. They could just hit you in the face and then you'll be like, what do I do now? No, but we're all very professional in the studio. Yeah, so really after a few drinks and... Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. You might like meet someone out, like, because you'll be going to a lot of social events. Yeah. yeah, you do. You'd be meeting a lot of new people. Like, there's so many new individuals coming yeah. into your life. And you're still hoping them, to end up with Mabel. That could happen still. No, he's not. <laughs> no, 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 he's, he's not. Say, no, boy, no, I was he's giving no, the game away. No, boy, no, I was going. Because obviously in my head, I was like, wicked collab, Weller and Mabel coming out, Weller spitting bars. Now, nah, but then, and then, the, then she releases the tune with Joel Corey. And I was just like, fuck. I've done that now. Done it. Look, I guess you have to be there for her in different ways. Nah, but like, realistically, do you know what is beautiful, right? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fact that like all these artists are just going to be able to, oh, well, eventually, basically, 
uh, get in the studio with all Can of them. Can you do a song with Dua Lipa? What, uh, well, yes, that's the thing. All of these are potentially on the cards, but let me know what you think about this viewers and listeners. Bring me along. <laughs> yeah, can we come in? <laughs> but yes, yeah, yeah, but let me just quickly spring this one forward. I mean, right? I could potentially, you know, my first few singles get big artists on to feature. But I'm like, I don't want it to seem like I, my, my first, you know, I'm breaking into the industry with someone else. Oh, because, oh, it's only because you've got Dua Lipa on the track. It's only because you've got Mabel on the track. Like, I, I, I mean, it, as, I really want to get in with those guys and fucking make tunes because I think it'd be banging. But um, I almost want it to be like, yeah, like, I don't, I don't, you I don't want need, the first one to, so I want it to be like, yeah, well, well has done this because he can, he can actually make music. Yeah. And then off the actual credibility of, right, well, you've, you've, you know, done some tunes that have done well in the charts. Yep. Now you've sort of like, yeah, now we respect you and we can work with you in, in a collaborative way rather than carrying you. Like that's how I, 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 I prefer. Let me know what are your thoughts? Because some people would go, right, well, nah, I'm just going to fucking rinse the fact that I can get access to these people now. Yeah. So, so when is this tune, when are we expecting it to be released? So I want, I'm actually wanting to go for like my birthday, 2nd of March, mate, or just okay, like... Okay, good. Earlier the better because I keep wanting to sing it. Yeah. You can't sing it for months. Ever. But you know when it's like on the tip of your tongue, like all I want I is. Know. I know, I know. It's uh, I can imagine it going on FIFA. Mm. Can't you? Yeah, it's, it's going to be a FIFA, FIFA song. FIFA tune. Yeah, Mate, I, I can't tell you how important it is to get a dance in the music video, just purely for the fact TikTok now just makes tunes. Yeah, like if you get a TikTok viral TikTok song, you're just set for life. Yeah, like mm. Stay by Kid Leroy. Yeah, I know it's got Bieber on as well, but like that banged because it popped or, on TikTok. Got a vibe. Baby, can you get me for a ride? Look you in the eye. Look you in the eye. Like, that. I just want to sleep. Yeah, and like, there's loads of like random stuff. I got baited. Oh, in <laughs> can we get that up oh, right for now? For fuck's sake. Tom, Bro. pull up, pull up this clip okay, of so Wella doing a TikTok. Basically, I had Halloween party. And obviously, I get coerced into doing a TikTok. Like, happens every fucking party. They play, you, they play you like a puppet. Yeah, but I kind of love it. When I've had a few bevs, I'm literally like, get me on that TikTok. Yeah. Um, so I do it, and I thought it was quite good. My and word, it, was it bad? It wasn't well, great. It wasn't really. What, was, what is bad about no, it? Because, no, no, two no. people having a good time just and enjoying life. No, because in the moment it's probably like really funny, and like you think of being like, oh yeah, it's be funny. That was well, like, goofy, silly, goofy. Like, you're yeah. in the silly, silly goofy mood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> and then in the morning you wake up and be like, oh, it's not online. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then next thing you know. <laughs> Yeah, people a million always, views. The I, comments, do, I do bang on TikTok though. It's because everyone doesn't expect it. If you do, if something comes out unexpected in a TikTok, it's going to bang. What's the one? It's just me. You are why am unexpected. I unexpected? Because why would you be in this random TikTok on someone else's account? You don't really do any content anymore, having the waffle in. Yeah, do you know what I mean. It is, it is random. It is random. And I'm always dressed as some like slutty character. <laughs> were, you <in> <laughs> were you in the policeman outfit? Yes, I was in the policeman Again, outfit. So it's always the policeman outfit. That's my go-to. Have you washed it? Yeah, that was a new one. Um, no, it was. But basically, I often get into their outfit. So oh. I'm wearing girls' clothes. <laughs> no one asked me. No. So they... how did that Halloween night go? Yeah, it was good. It was what like... did you do after the TikToks? Well, yeah, no, I got a complaint. But like, no, just DJing. You got a complaint? What, noise from complaint? downstairs, yeah. Really? No, just DJing, beer pong. Everyone was dressed up. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it's just like quite funny. That, does that not bother you? Because obviously now you've moved to uh, an apartment yep. and you were living in a detached house before yes. where no such thing as a noise I complaint know. exists. I know. Did it bother you a little bit? Yeah, it was a bit annoying. It was, but what I've gained from living in London in so that place worse. is so much. Yeah. So, I mean, it is what it is. All we had to do is change from where the speaker was because little tip, if it's on the floor, then the bass oh, frequencies yeah, yeah. are going right through the floor. If you put it on something and on like a pillow... And then on, which is on something else, and on something else. And you down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, but exactly, it can, it won't radiate through the floors. I had a house party below me on Halloween, and I was tucked up in bed at like nine o'clock. Because obviously I just finished the 24-hour Red Bull thing, and all I wanted to do was go to sleep, and there was just house party below me going, boom, 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 all night. Shit, man. Yeah. Should have gone and joined in. I, I couldn't walk. Well, I got, on another um, Halloween party, I got kicked out of his party. Yeah, why did you get kicked out for? What were you doing? So I was Where in, were you? I was in bed with the girl he invited. <laughs> oh, you're odd. <laughs> <laughs> sure enough about stealing a man's girl. No, 
but it was in literally a going to sleep way. Oh, you were just going to sleep? Mate, With this cuddles. is, see, like, I set that up so that you'd think I was being a wanker, right? But really, we were just in bed, going to sleep, and I think he thought that I was being dodgy. So were you just on separate sides of the beds then? No, but it... Cuddling? No. So this man is kind enough to what, invite s- you to a party, and you coerce... Coerce? His girlfriend. Coerce. Coerce, coerce his girlfriend. It's not his girlfriend. It's just someone, but I found it quite cheeky. They kicked me out for going for having a restful period. <laughs> restful period. Just because the, the it's individual. Not really what was, was going it, on. Was it else still in the party? Or was it just you three? <laughs> <laughs> there was other people. But oh, you could have you could have cuddled together. You could right? understand that though. If you if you Mate, were you throwing a party exactly the same. and there was one one girl that you were like, I really I like. Wouldn't get to the point where she's in bed with one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you be in bed Mate, with someone? Else? So similar. Why you, you are so similar. Move. If the roles are reversed, you're doing exactly the same. 100%. Like, Get yeah, out now. What did happen? I got invited to that party. Why yeah. didn't you go? Because I just finished the Red Bull event. I was in bed by nine. <laughs> what, were you the one wanker downstairs complaining? Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, brother. No. no, no my, my trailer. I wouldn't complain to anyone in my apartment because... If I don't complain to them, they won't complain to me. Yeah, that is, a, that is the thing, <laughs> Yeah, it? yeah, it's so true. Gives um, you leverage. Now, something else we've got coming up very soon, fuck me up the arse, <laughs> is Jake Paul versus Tyson, Tommy Fury. Tyson. Right? Wait, have you seen that? I forgot. I was going to send it to you boys last night. It was the interview with Big Daddy Fury talking about if he said, he goes, if Tommy loses this, his career is over. Mate, no, and it's true. That's like the first thing he said. Yeah, that was like yeah. He literally, he, got, he literally goes, if he loses this, his professional boxing career is done. Yeah, he won't let him fight anymore. That is literally yeah. what he's saying. And obviously, Tyson no pressure there. Tommy. Tyson Fury is saying that he's out of the family. <laughs> like you're not involved in our family anymore. <laughs> like it's, it, I don't know if they, you know, doing that to roll someone up. Would that, you know, listeners and viewers, would that roll you up and get you motivated, or would that just add more pressure to you? It's quite interesting. He also the, the daddy. He also said His name's John. Uh, John, whatever. Stop John calling him daddy. <laughs> daddy. He also said he goes. I believe he has the power, the ability, and everything. I believe he, that will make him win. However, the question is, he goes, but he's young. Will the moment get the better of him? It's quite interesting. To say that as a dad, well, because about Jake, your own son, because in my head I'm like, that's only going to build more pressure on your Jake, son. Jake Paul has now got the the beans, so to speak. He's to, got the beans to push him through <laughs> a big fight. Yeah, he's like, been there, done the that. The moment is not going to get the best of him. The only thing that would get the best of him is someone else being better than him. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah factual information, and I think that is what he's obviously trying to instill instill into Tommy that pressure. He's done it in every fight he's done so far. Uh, build up the stakes. You've got to change your name to Fumbles. You know, <laughs> your whole family, this, that, and the other. You know, all of it, just trying to heighten it. Now, for me, Tyson Fury, you know, training Tommy. And he's in his corner. Yeah, the yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's training him. He's in the corner. That, there's going to be things that Tyson teaches him and says to him and does with him that literally is just incomparable. Like, yeah, literally, yeah. like, one of a kind. Yeah. Like, nothing Jake could pay yeah, can do what, what Tyson can do and do, know what he knows. And the psychological game, like, when speaking to the Furies, because obviously I, pr- I presented... With, when, when speaking to the Furies as a family. <laughs> mate, no, I presented with John Fury on BT. Let's right? Whip up some footage now if you got it, Tom. Um, and speaking to him, he's, it's all about the mind with that family. It's all about in here. It's not about being the fittest, strongest, whatever, all of that. Exa- example, when Tyson got up from being knocked out, I don't think there's any other boxer on the planet that could have done that. Well, well everyone thought he was dead. <laughs> Mate, well, yeah. he, he was the undertaker. And that's just a mental capability, that's the strength to show like, what yeah. that family's and made of. What, well, yeah, so what, what Tommy somehow has got to do here is just really simplify it. Just really simplify it. So don't let any of the wanky stuff that Jake does get to him because he will have better boxing skill yeah. in his locker from the years that he's had training with the fucking Furies, right? Yeah. He will, it, it's just, and what I'm saying at this point is who do you want to win? Who do I want to win or who do yeah. I think I'll who win? who do you want to win then who do you think will win? I, oh God, this is tough. I mean, I would want Tommy to win just purely so his career's like not done. Like, otherwise he's so over. Out of pity. Out of pity, yeah. But oh I actually, I think, if Jake wins, it would be better for the sport because you'd get more, there would just be more excitement and more exciting See, matches. Like, for example, 
if Jake wins, then I, I feel like the Jake KSI fight would have more hype than a Tommy to KSI. Yeah, First, <laughs> firstly, I don't feel like that fight can ever happen. Now. I think it could do. And well, secondly, KSI, I still think it could happen. I don't in the think it would be better for boxing because bear in mind, Tommy is the first quote unquote boxer. I know. That Jake will have fought, and then if Jake beats him, it's almost like, oh, well, Tommy's an actual the only way, boxer. The only way I think it would be better for boxing in terms of just it would have more hype for the sport, so it would have more eyes on the sport, which I think. Look, at the end of the day, would help. fuck what's better for boxing. I just want to see what's, what the best fight is. So, Jake. So, in terms of like, okay, not fuck what's better for boxing, but as in like, I just personally, from these fights, the most excitement. just want to see the most exciting fights, right? I don't think Jake Paul is, like, going to change the game in, for other boxers. He's only really going to change it for himself. Yeah, yeah he's going to enable people that maybe didn't have the funding or, you know, he's going to help financially with certain things. But in terms of, like, top quality boxing, I don't think Jake Paul's the guy that's going to pioneer that. That said, I think the most exciting fights, build-ups and then fights, will be KSI Jake Paul. So we want to see that now. If Jake beats Tommy, I think that puts KSI Jake in jeopardy because I think KSI will look at it and go like do, yeah, you know, re- realistically Jake's God, he's just you know I mean he's probably levels above me now <laughs> whereas if Tommy beats him it's like oh Jake's beat beat and he knows what defeat is like I haven't been beaten I, I there's more it's more of a level playing field I suppose there's the redemption story for Jake as well. yeah exactly exactly right um, but it would be interesting to see I mean if Jake did beat Tommy well then surely that Conor McGregor fight is like Inbound, it's like happening. Jake you know what I mean? Imagine like, Jake versus Conor McGregor. It'd be wicked. Like that would be sick. But, but there has also been Jake has also called out Canelo, and I watched. Oh, yeah, but that, that would have, that's a joke. I watched the highlights from Canelo's fight against Caleb Plant, and oh my fucking god, the speed of that guy, yeah. but the power get, at the same clarted, time. You get clarted. I don't think anyone in the world would want to fight that man. No, but who do you think is gonna win? Oh, who I think is gonna win? I think. It'll go to points. Oh. I think it'll go the distance. Jake Paul by points. I think, really? I think Jake Paul. I feel like win. Jake Paul by points. Yeah. Seeing Tommy in his last fight, his composure wasn't the best, and his composure hasn't been. You know, it's, it's knowing like right, okay, how can I be winning the fight and also try and knock him out? Because that's a skill in itself. Because you can go hunting for a knockout and be getting hit with jabs all the time and end up outpointed. And losing, I think, right? And I feel like Tommy, yeah, like I've, Jake, I've, I feel he's a smarter individual as a man. He's Just a bit older, a isn't he? Jake's a year below us. And Tommy, Tommy's like, like 20, 22. Yeah, he's, yeah. But, so he's a tough but then, older. I yeah. think on the, on the day, it's l- m- less about how good you are at boxing and more about how you can handle the day and the pressure. Oh, it's a mixture of both. Because th- if I both think, guys handle the they, pressure, it no, comes down to the boxing. If they're both just as good as each other, it's whoever on the day handles it. Yeah. I, but I just think Jake has more experience and I think it could get the better of Tommy just purely for the fact he he's not only doing it for himself, he's doing it like he's got the family name on the line. Mm. But then I mean? you think it does swing both ways. Like, yeah, okay, Jake has potentially got that uh, the capability to handle the pressure, but Tommy in theory should be well clear of Jake in terms be, yeah. of ability. He yeah. should be. So, you know, are they then going to meet somewhere in the middle? I just wanted to and be an it will be a good fight. fight. Mm. Like, if there's a oh mate, if one of them gets knocked out, yes, like oh my god, I'm mm, not. I'm, I'm going to put it out there. I'd rather see Jake Paul knocked out. Well, like, yeah, I think the most I think a lot of people would. do. I think yeah. To, to be fair, I would like to see him go against some. Uh, what's it called? Um, when things go against you. When the chips are down. <laughs> when the chips are down. You want to see him <laughs> no. not winning for once. Yeah, no, no, no. Ad- adversity, that's the one. I'd like to see him face of adversity. How will he recover from it? Because, yeah, just seeing... Because that's... I feel that's a real test of someone's character. Like, when it doesn't go right, when you take an L, how do you deal with it? How do you come back stronger? Do you say, oh, fuck, no, this ain't for me? Or do you go, right, now? I want to prove it wrong? I or, think his uh, brother's a good example. Well, yeah, Logan, fantastic example. Yes. Um... So, yeah, I think it would be cool to see Jake go. Because imagine, I think he'd get even more respect in the boxing world if he um, lost, went, right, no, I'm going to show that I really am about this, mm-hmm. come back and be even better and start beating even better opponents. Because that, that will prove to the boxing world that he's not just in it for the money, whether yeah. he actually actually likes the sport. Exactly. And it's not because a lot of, you know, there's a the thing where he's hand-picking opponents. He's going, right, I mean, he's only going against old UFC fighters and people like... Tommy's an inexperienced fighter. You know what I mean? It's, it's uh, yeah, it basically, it would just be good to see how he would deal going against adversity. Anyways. I agree. I agree. I think uh, 
yeah, like in all his life, really, you could say he's one. From like a young teenager, he was like a Disney star, was he not? Mm. So like, you know, he's winning then. He then smashes YouTube. He then yeah. smashes boxing. It's like, let's lose something. Yeah, now. well, that, that's, and that's not me saying, oh, yeah, I want to see him fail because like, oh, he's had loads of success and yeah. I won. It's just that it's a really good part of like actual life, life in leveling yeah. up when you have to take on adversity and seeing how someone can come through adversity is, is so huge. Look at Tyson Fury. Like seeing him go through what he went through negative stuff is met what has actually made him a king that's what's actually done it not him you know because he was good before that he's still undefeated before the mental health stuff but now he's gone through that and it's uh, inadvertently that has been what's connected to people level up Let, now that's why he's viewed as such a fucking great individual human being it'd be interesting to get tommy on next season to yeah. understand his psyche of the whole event whether yeah whether if, if he loses whether he would come on or not i don't know but if he wins i think it's definitely a it'll be a good thing yeah. to do i think he'd be up for it yeah because i'm sure there's so much to talk about as well it's just be an interesting guy 100 percent. yeah what else we got to talk about now i don't know i think it's, it's about time we head out and explore this city yeah okay so what we're gonna do now these boys are taking me to the red light district we're going to see what fucking happens. I mean, I don't know where it's going to go. But anyway, so like I say... to the sex museum. Yeah, all of that. I'm actually looking forward and to that. And the Van Gogh museum. Any for that. <laughs> no, no. But basically, yeah, uh, make sure you see our Christmas episode, which is coming out on Christmas Day, which is obviously anything that happens between now, it's so literally today, and then we're going to talk about all of it and uh, hopefully have some good, funny, laughing stories with you. Drinking one, that is. Yeah, we're going to get fucked. Anyways, um, make sure you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and... TikTok now. TikTok now. Trying to hit 100, 100k on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've been yeah. trying to do that for ages. Um, subscribe to, obviously, the Waffling YouTube channel. And until next time, we'll see you. Bye. Bye.